why are we kicking off late? Maybe the judge has forgotten to put his heated rollers in. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably a good sign. Yeah. If anyone deserves a better good luck, it's Yasmin. All rise. Please sit. Are counsel ready to begin? I apologise for the slight delay to proceedings, but Defence Counsel has now obtained the fresh evidence it sought to submit. And having reviewed the material, I'm persuaded it raises important issues of credibility with regard to some of the evidence we have heard. I have therefore granted their application to recall Mr Metcalf to give evidence. Thank you, Your Honour. When did you last see Elaine Jones? Um, uh, she pitched up last July, I think it was, and then she hightailed it pretty sharpish. July, you're sure about that? I think so, there or thereabouts. Yet, Elaine Jones tells us that you visited her at Weatherfield General on the 2nd of December, so whose account's correct? Mine, but I would say that. Depends if you believe the woman in the nut house or me. I would now like to show the court some CCTV footage from the hospital from the 2nd of December. You may proceed. Is that you there, Mr. Metcalf, wearing the baseball cap and mask? Don't think so. You deny it? I'm just saying it could be Donald Trump for all I can tell. I appreciate it's difficult given the man's obvious efforts to conceal his identity. It looks like a fellow walking across a car park to me. It's strange though. He always seems to be on the periphery of the camera coverage, don't you think? Only if you've got too much time on your hands. You have to admit that the figure there is doing their best to remain unseen as they enter the hospital. He's walking in. What do you want him to do? Stand on his head and whistle Dixie? There, there. Is that you entering the lobby? See, that lobby there is just outside the mental health ward where Elaine Jones was being treated. Your guess is as good as mine. Why do you keep rubbing your face? Oh, obscuring it from the camera. Don't ask me. There, there, you're doing it again. Almost entirely covering your face. Was that the purpose? It's not me. So I can't tell you why a complete stranger is scratching his nose. Maybe his mask was rubbing, I don't know. OK, all right. The next piece of footage I'd like to show the court is of a car registration plate. Is that your car registration plate, Mr. Metcalf? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yes. Thank you. Having established from the CCTV that the man in the hospital did not park at the hospital, we did some checking with nearby car parks. We received this registration last night. The car park in question uses number plate recognition technology. Do you happen to know when and where this was taken? For the benefit of the court, this was taken at a municipal car park half a mile from the hospital. If you look at the timestamp right there, it says the 2nd of December at 14.04. That's half an hour before Elaine Jones places you at the hospital. Now, the following car park footage is much more clear. Is that you emerging from your car, Mr. Metcalf? Yes. And is that you donning the baseball cup and mask? Yes. And if we look at the comparative stills of the hospital footage and the car park CCTV, would you now agree that the man in the car park, who you've already conceded is yourself, and the man in the hospital are one and the same? I suppose so. Yes. So you concede now that you were at Weatherfield General on the 2nd of December, despite having previously denied it? I'm 70 years old. At my age, your memory sometimes plays tricks. Well, you were very certain of the events on the night you were attacked. Well, I'm not likely to forget being glassed in my own house, am I? But stuff like what I was doing on what day last week, well, I, I get confused. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Did you speak to Elaine Jones or not? No. But you didn't think it relevant to mention that you'd been to the hospital on the day in question? I wasn't sure I had, but now I've seen the film. It was obviously the same day, but I never saw her. But you just so happened to be visiting the very same hospital. I'm a DJ on their hospital radio. Unpaid, I might add. So who did you see that day? No one. I was collecting a box of CDs from the studio. You weren't carrying a box when you left. Oh, well, that's because the beggar weren't there. 
Like I've said to you, remembering where you parked your car at my no, Thank you. I was just about to bring that up. Why did you park your vehicle half a mile away instead of on site at the hospital? I had business in town. What business was that? Shopping. You weren't carrying shopping bags when you got back to your car, and I can produce footage to that. Didn't see the thing I wanted. What thing was that? I can't remember off the top of me. Yet. You've like I got a very it. unreliable memory, Mr. Metcalf. The court appreciates your candor in that regard. Do you remember why you went to the mental health ward? I didn't. We've just seen the footage, Mr. Metcalf. Of me on the landing. There are three other wards off there. OK, then where did you go? I was doing me rounds. Are you a consultant, Mr. Metcalf? Musically, yes. I take requests from my listeners. Find out what's on their minds. I, I like to press the flesh, providing it's not weeping. Yet you just told this court that you didn't see anyone. I didn't have a meeting with anyone. I went round a few patients, but I never saw Elaine. What were those patients' names? I couldn't tell you. Name one. Just one. I can't. I, I must have talked to thousands of folk over the years. OK, so what you're saying is, is that if we speak to patients on the wards just off the third floor lobby, we will find someone who chatted to you that day. I'd have thought so. Depends if they remember. I, I might be a bit of a celebrity, but they're drugged up to the eyeballs, half of them.